All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out Quick Creator. It's over on AppSumo. We will check out this page here in just a second. So Quick Creator is an AI writer. It kind of seems like it has some kind of um, hosting ability, uh, but I don't think that's included with the AppSumo deal, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. All right, so this is the home, or this is what you see when you log in, and uh, so let's jump over to the landing page builder. It's cool, uh, but I'll tell you why I don't think we have access to it. And it's pretty obvious because up here it says free trial, uh, which is kind of irritating considering I just went and bought an LTD for this particular thing. And I was under the impression that the hosting and everything and the, the, the builder was included. It is not. It's only a trial. So we don't get this part of it, and it ends in four days for me. I don't know how long it originally was. I didn't pay attention. I kind of just stumbled into this. I thought it was all done on the blog side of things, and apparently that is not the case. So uh, anyways, you got your site settings over here. You hook up your domain there, multilingual translation, code injection, all that. You got your landing pages. I did a little test page. Uh, it's basically just, hey, select a template, and then it's kind of drag and drop, but not really. You can add blocks and stuff like that. There's a lot to choose from under the builder. That being said, the blog side of things, there isn't a lot to choose from. So they do have this little generator on the side that will generate the copy for you, which is super cool. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because we don't have access to this with the LTD. And that super sucks. I just wanted to mention that right away, that a uh, little disappointed in that. Let's go back to the uh, thing we actually purchased, which was not mentioned on AppSumo as far as I can tell. Uh, we purchased the blog builder. So on this side over here, you got your, uh, your little websites you can hook up. We have two hooked up currently. You can hook up as many as you want, I believe. I don't think there's a limit on these. Yeah, I don't think there is. So you can hook up as many as you want. Uh, and to post a blog, we'll just do the new blog. I've already actually used up all the ones from the account. Uh, the I got the tier one, and it only allows 10 articles. And whether they generate or not, it charges you that credit. So keep that in mind. I didn't realize that, and I've generated like six or seven actual ones and then I stopped a couple before they were done so I you still lose those credits kind of sucks now I know I guess uh, anyways you got your home here you got your posts uh, you can set up categories but really this is only if you're doing the website and if you don't have the landing page builder building the website with what they have on this end is going to be a nightmare so we're not even going to go into that. Let's go ahead and check out the different types we have. So you can create articles by clicking the little, the little new blog post button here. So you got the keyword writing one. This is obvious. You just enter your keyword, put in some extra stuff, and you're off to the races. You can have it retrieve a certain amount of pages. Uh, I do want to mention that their scraping is absolutely terrible. Uh, it seems to not work half the time. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's just... I'm picking weird websites. I don't know, uh, but it does not. Oops, it does not seem to work every time you use it. And for certain websites, it doesn't do anything at all. Amazon is one of those. Like it doesn't seem to scrape Amazon at all. It's weird. Uh, next one up is topic expansion. I really like this one because what it does is you enter in your topic, and then it'll and your keyword, and it'll give you some ideas of different angles you can take with the article. Yeah, number. Unfortunately, I've already reached the max number. Uh, let me see if I can do the blog wizard. Yeah, it's not going to let me, uh, which is quite irritating. Anyway, so basically what it does, the blog wizard is it takes you step by step through the process. You enter your topic, put in your stuff. Then you go to a title selection where it gives you some title examples. You just select the one you like, hit continue, and then it'll generate an outline you can either add to the outline you can have it redo the outline whatever and then you just approve it to write and then it'll scrape all the stuff you have it scraping and then if if there is any and then it'll generate the article so that's topic expansion uh, then you got product promotion this one is really cool too it didn't work very well because like i said it wouldn't scrape the websites i wanted it to and i tried quite a few different ones maybe half of them work 
So, I, again, I don't know. Maybe it was just bad luck, but their scraping is terrible. I'm just going to reiterate that every time. Product promotion, basically you put in a page URL, and if it can scrape it, it will scrape that data. Uh, keep in mind, you can put this stuff in manually. You don't have to use the scraper, but we, we like scrapers, so we want them to work, right? <laughs> Anyways, so you put in the URL, hit the continue button, and we'll click it. And then it's gonna go to discover ideas here. And it, it's kind of like the other one where it uh, it tries to give you different angles for the product promotion. It is really cool. I wish I could show it to you, but uh, apparently I used up my last one on this one. This is one of the ones it was able to scrape. Yeah, see, that's what it does. It pulls in the stuff right there. Uh, we won't do a keyword, obviously. Is it gonna let me continue to the next one? Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. Anyways, so what it does is it gives you s some ideas and angles to go through. And then after you pick the angle you want to work with, uh, then it'll give you a list of titles. You select the title you want. It'll generate the outline and then final configuration. Now, the other option when you're doing any of these uh, is you can do the one-step generation. And then what that does is it just kind of does all the secondary stuff for you. You, you put in the same first page as you normally would. So the first page is exactly the same, basically. And then you hit generate ideas and it'll actually just take it and run with it at that point. You just have no control over it. That's the only difference. So that's more of a one click type thing where the other one's kind of like a, a, a little bit of control and choices to go along with everything. I would, I would suggest the blog wizard, but if you just don't care, then that's the only way to speed through multiple articles is to do the one step generation. Article fusion. This is kind of like an article rewrite feature where say you have a keyword, you're not really sure what you wanna do with it. You can take say the top three to, I believe it's three to five uh, different articles on the Google, whichever one's your favorites, and then put them into article fusion. It'll pull all that information if it can scrape it <laughs> and create this hodgepodge super article. At least that's the idea behind it. That was actually the first one I tested. And then the listicle one is obvious what it is. It's, it does a list. Top five best wine regions, for example, is the one we did. Uh, how to articles, again, how to do whatever, how to store wine properly. Uh, comparison article, which, uh, what wine is, is better, red or white, red versus white, whatever. That's a, that's a comparison article. Explanatory article is just an in-depth article, it, just an informa information article. Uh, I didn't see any difference between that and the regular one, to be honest with you. Uh, and then the analytical article is just a Y type. So that's all the, that's all the types. Uh, so let's just go through the results and I'll let you judge for yourself on this one since we can't let you see it as we go, apparently. <laughs> so, did the five must visit wine regions for enthusiasts. So that was pretty cool. I believe the keyword was um, five best wine regions. That's the title that the that it popped up. I thought it was good. So we, that's one we went with. And uh, so, yeah, it pulls in images. They're from Unsplash. So these are not AI generated, but at the same time, there's not a huge variety. So you'll notice in these articles that there's quite a few doubles. Uh, but it does pull in images, and that's kind of nice to have. And it actually didn't pull in any more for this one, looks like. So just that secondary one there. So not a bad article. It does read well, too. So it's not like it's just putting a bunch of crap in here. It is actually fairly decent content. And over here on the post editor, we got post settings and then improvements. This is just your, your basic SEO best practices, I think is what most people would consider that. Then you got your keyword score here. So think of this like your surfer. And uh, it did terrible on this one, 22 out of 100. That's pretty bad. And then the content quality score. This is actually what's kind of unique about this one. I don't think I've seen this on too many other software. Um, and it's actually one of the reasons I was interested in testing this out. I was hoping it was good for this because I'm very interested in this. This is neat how they score it. It grades the article based on the experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trust metrics that Google likes to judge people on. And then it gives you things that it, you could be doing better, could be doing worse, you know, stuff like that. So and then some modification suggestions. It's pretty cool. It's telling us to add unique experiences. 
Uh, it's saying we forgot to talk about the hilltop views. Uh, so yeah, it's really it's really awesome that they have that in there. That's actually one of my favorite things about this software. To be perfectly honest with you, I love the content quality score. The keyword score is is cool, but that's there's a lot of those. You got content page, you got neuron writer, you got surfer, you got. I mean, everybody's doing this now. Everybody, and frankly, it's not hard to get an AI to do this. Any AI with uh, internet access can pull out NLP keywords, and bam, you got yourself your, a keyword generator. Now, the thing I don't like about this is it doesn't enter in these keywords into the article very well. And there is an option for that when you're doing it. It just doesn't do it very well. All right, next up is the product reviewer or review, uh, and that's what, that was this one. So we got mastering the art of using a wine decanter, and it brings in the picture. It doesn't actually. So it uses its own picture. That's cool. It's almost the exact same one too. Really good selection there. I guess that was just that was probably luck to be honest with you. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. It does add massive amounts of links. Uh, so you're going to have external linking to basically everywhere on these articles, which I personally don't think is a problem. I, I actually like that. I think it creates better content. It gives the readers more places to go check out to answer their question. Assuming you didn't answer it all yourself, which is your goal, but you know what? It happens. Some people just like to research topics, so those extra links could be very appreciated. I know I do personally. I, I enjoy extra links to other resources if I want to look into stuff further. Okay, and uh, the big one here is it seems to be missing the product link itself. There's no product link, which is a huge miss for something like this. If you're promoting a product, you should probably include the link to this website here to purchase the item. Maybe I'm crazy, but uh, there was no place to enter in an affiliate link either, which I think would be a huge add to something like this. Uh, great idea, just not very well executed. Next up is the Y style articles. Remember there were a couple different types. This was one of them. It's the uh, analytical article down here. Why wine is aged in barrels. And it pulled in some actually pretty solid pictures on this one. And the content's good again. It's got very relevant links as well. We can start the keyword score and the content score as well. See what we got there. We forgot to do that over here, didn't we? So let's go to improvements, start analysis, and score. Okay, so on the keyword score here, we got 59, which is pretty solid on this one. It suggests 43 plus. So this is a, a good, well-optimized keyword according to this software. All right, and this one scored a 51. It, the suggested is 67, so this one not so great, but not bad overall, I guess, 51. Better than the 23 of the other one. So, uh, And then we got a, let's check this one first, quality score of 71 and 74 over here. So they definitely miss on the keyword scores pretty consistently and the quality scores pretty consistently. All right, so let's check out the next one. This was just a BS article. Oh, by the way, these articles where you just type in garbage to see what you can do, these count against your articles, which is so stupid. I don't know why they would do that. Um, obviously, I was just messing around. And then I had another one. I did the same thing. I was trying to test if they had AI features built into the editor, you know, something obvious that you would look at if you're checking out a software. And I deleted it because it was just like this, just bunch of mumbo jumbo or I was just typing stuff in. So that all counts against your articles, which is so stupid. Like, <laughs> so stupid. That should not count because it's not taking away, it's not generating any content. I added that content. So even if you don't generate the content and you write the articles and you're on tier one, you're still limited to 10 articles, no matter what. It should just remove this AI and say you have 10 articles because it took away my articles for creating those. And then there were two others where I, I kind of exit out in the middle of uh, making them because I was just seeing what you could do. 
it took away articles for that as well. As you can see down here, I only have five articles. I was supposed to have 10. So how, how do I have five articles and it say I've used all 10? You know? Seems a little fishy. Anyways, let's keep going. This is the versus article. And again, solid pictures. It brought in a table. I really wish it didn't bring in the table in the introduction, though. That looks terrible. You should never have tables or lists in the very first paragraph. Or even right after in this scenario. Solid article aside from that. I like the table. Do not like the placement of the table, if that makes sense. All right, so let's go back and check out the last one. Wine Tasting 101. This is just the, uh, this was the actually the mosh pit, the uh, the fusion article where I pulled in multiple ones to uh, take from. And this was a nightmare to set up because it wouldn't scrape, I want to say three of the, uh, the 10 <laughs> on the first page. So three out of like 10 that I tried to use would not scrape at all. So the scraping, again, is terrible in this software. It's not good. It's very hit or miss. But there are a few things I like. It's adding in quotes, um, I believe, from those articles too. So I don't remember which ones I did, but I did five articles, and I, I believe it's quoting each and every one of them, which is really cool. I like that. It's quoting and linking out to them. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, overall, this is actually a really good article. It did a good job. Uh, this was one of my... One of my favorite articles, uh, but overall, yeah, you know, it's 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 solid. It's solid. Uh, let's check out the SEO. So we got a 53 on this one, and we're still scoring the YMYL. 69, actually pretty bad on this one. So interesting. And you are limited on these as well. I have eight of 20 used. So that is basically Quick Creator. It's a pretty simple software. There's a few huge misses, I think, overall. And I think uh, the lack of bulk generation is a big one. There's no way to generate more than one article at a time. Uh, even if it was just something as simple as like 10 keywords at a time, that would be pretty cool. It would save a lot of time. All right, so let's go over the pricing real quick before I get into all the details here. So you got tier one. Uh, it's 10 articles per month, and w once again, like if you exit out in the middle of an article, it's going to charge you for that article, so keep that in mind. If you do one manually, you want to go write your own article, it's going to charge you for that one. I, of the 10 articles, I got five, so yeah, uh, that's, that's a problem, so just keep that in mind before you buy this. Uh, you get 10 articles per month, supposedly. You get a custom domain. I wasn't able to figure that out, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it either, to be fair. 20 keyword scores per month. That is your uh, NLP. Your That's your surfer-like stuff there. Okay, and then you get content quality scores. That's checking your EEAT on the article, which is really cool. I love that one. It's my favorite feature. Oh, and we forgot to check that out. That's right. So if you go back to apps, you actually have a content quality score thing that you can just enter in. You can put in a URL. Again, if it's able to crawl your website, then it will pull that in. Mine was not able to be crawled. Apparently, my, my website is not able to be crawled, which makes no sense to me. You can enter it in manually. So actually, we know this one can be crawled. So let's put this one in. Since we know this article can be crawled because we use the, the product URL one on that one. So you guys can see this. So this one actually scored a 78. So it did really good. So the article we wrote scored lower than the product page. That's interesting. Anyways, and they do have a uh, Chrome extension for this. I guess I can show that off, yeah. I didn't like it. So we'll pull it up. SEO score checker, this is what it looks like here. Hopefully you can see that. Let me look. You can't see it. Um, yeah, apparently you can't see this little thing, but basically it's just a little extension that pops up and you can click the score button on it. It will score the website. Here, I'll take a screenshot of it, and then I will share the window capture of it. Snipping tool. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, I, I don't know. It's weird that I have to do it this way, but, you know, whatever. 
it just gives you the score. You still have to click the link, which actually takes you back to the page. So we'll jump back over here. I'll turn this off again. Uh, I'm sorry, I actually lied. You have, you have to click this button here. You click that button here, and what that does is it brings you back to this same editor here. The big problem with that is it doesn't bring the data over. So you now have to enter in the website again to get back to this. You have to rerun it again. So it charges you twice to use the extension. I mean, it's, it's kind of dumb. So really you either use one or the other. Just wanted to mention that it's kind of irritating the way they set that up. They also did not include the LSI inside of the Chrome extension, which I think is a huge miss. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't have had that one in there as well. Maybe an option to do both. So back here, we got the tier one, 10 articles, 20 content scores, 20 keyword scores. And then tier two, you get 30 AI articles, uh, 60 keyword scores, and 60 BEAT scores. You jump up to tier three. This is where it gets actually to be okay because I think tier one and tier two, especially the way they consider a used article, I think it's shady for one. Uh, but the way they do that makes it neither one of those worth it at all to me. Tier one and tier two are terrible deals as far as I'm concerned. But tier three is actually where it starts to get okay. It gets okay. Because remember, it does write decent content. So you get 150 articles per month, which is quite a bit. That's five articles a day, every single day for ever, because it's an, a lifetime deal. And then you get 300 quality scores, or uh, I'm sorry, keyword scores, your LSI, your surfer-like stuff. And then you get 300 EEAT scores, so content quality. Uh, we don't care about the storage because they don't they don't give us the builder in this because that's stupid. Anyway, so the storage means nothing. We're not going to host on this. And the big one here is you get to bring your own key. You get you get to bring your own OpenAI key. And I assume, assume that you can go over the 150 AI articles with that. Therefore, it'll bypass the fact that you get charged a AI article for manual. It'll bypass the fact that you get you lose an AI article if you exit out after entering in the keyword, which is how I got hit a couple times. So it bypasses all of that. So in my, in my personal opinion, tier three is the best option. Moving on to tier four, it's $399. It's very expensive, but you get 300 articles per month, which is basically a buck 20 per article for the first month. And then after that, it's free forever. So if you're using it, if you're using it, that's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal for an AI writer that's actually decent. It's not amazing, but it's decent. It's pretty, it's very usable. It's very usable. And you also get 600 keyword scores and 600 quality scores. And then you still get your open AI key, but now you get unlimited team members. Now, I don't know if there's a lot of teams out there wanting to work with this, but for me, tier three, tier four, not bad. If you have a huge team of people, you got tons of websites, tier four is a, it's a legitimate option to get a decent quality content writer uh, that you could go to town on if you really wanted to. Uh, overall, so let's go over the things I like and the things I don't like. So the things I like is it's very easy to use. As far as the UI goes, it's, it's so simple, it's so easy. I like it a lot. The blog posts are easy. You can do the one-step generation on them. You can do the blog wizard on them if you want to micromanage a little bit of the planning. You can't actually micromanage the writing itself, but you can micromanage the planning of it, the outline creation, the article title, the stuff like that. Okay, so I like that. That's very good. It does create decent content. So it's not like the content's bad. It's very good content. It writes well. It reads well. I want some more control over the system prompting and stuff like that. But aside from that, overall, it's a fairly good AI writer. I would read these articles. They do have stock images included. So you do get a lot of duplicates, but overall the quality is pretty good. And it never really posts anything in an article that is completely not relevant. I've, I haven't had that at all yet. Uh, that's something that happens a lot with like software like WP Autoblog. It brings in photos that are not relevant all the time. So, so this, you don't have that same problem with these guys. So that's a big plus. It does have a website builder. So it's, while it's, it's not included in the LTD, 
the landing page builder does seem pretty solid. So I guess we'll check that out. So basically all you do is you click here, you can start from a blank page or you can pick a template and start from there. Then you name your page. Uh, we'll just go with one that's already created. Select template, name the page, it'll be untitled. And then you put in your stuff here, the SEO keywords you want on here. This is great for like uh, rank and rent style things. Uh, again, this is not included in the LTD, but the fact that they have this is super cool. How much does it cost? It costs nine dollars per month. It's not a whole lot more expensive than hosting, but that's only for one website. Not a great price for one website. So if you pay nineteen dollars a month, you get unlimited websites and all all the stuff I expected to get anyways. So that's that's just throwing that out there. I expected that to be in the LTD and it wasn't included. So I am a little bitter about that, but I like it. I did test it out. I don't want to show it off in the video because it kind of pisses me off that they didn't include it because they don't say anywhere in here that it's just the blog posting. They don't say anywhere in here. Now, that being said, they don't say that it's included in here either. <laughs> I don't want to be misleading at all. But they kind of, uh, with the free SSL certificate, with the worldwide CDN, with the fully managed service, <laughs> you see how I could misunderstand that it's not included? With the unlimited hosting bandwidth, okay? <laughs> uh, so I expect it. Oh, and then down here it says custom domain. It, it definitely heavily insinuated that hosting was included the blog builder was included and it's not included so for me everything and i'm including the good content quality the good easy to use ui it's an okay ui but it's very easy to use you're not going to mess up you're going to know exactly how to create an article they are doing a lot of shady things though they're charging for articles that aren't actually produced with their ai they're charging for articles that just a topic keyword was link uh was uh so here i'll show you what they charge for so when you go to an article you click topic exp or expansion writing you click blog wizard okay you enter the topic the second you click generate title it charges you an entire article um i did this three or four times and it used up an article every single time I did that. So I, I generate the title just to see what was next. And then I exit out to go check another one. So that's all I did. And they still charge an article. So that is very shady practice in my opinion. I do not like that. If you want to charge a percentage of an article, that's fine. 0.1, whatever. Not a whole article. Especially not multiple times. Okay. Um, so it makes tier one completely useless. So for $49, I got five articles. So yeah, not happy about that. It's $10 an article. Uh, so the, the cons, let's go over the cons uh, and then I'll grade it. So we got no bulk generation whatsoever. Charges you for uh, articles that weren't created. It's uh, it, it kind of made it seem like the website builder was included, as you can see in here. Uh, but it's not. It's not included at all. The extension is kind of pointless and it double charges you. Another part of their shady practices. I'm not a big fan of the U the UI itself, the user interface. It's okay, but I don't I don't personally like it. Uh, the, and the scraping is terrible. It's terrible. I've never had a scraper that was that worked half the time. So that's my big rants on it. This is a two a two taco software that could have been a four taco software okay that's how that's how this close this close to being a four taco software okay uh the shady practices you got to knock them down for that that's one full taco they're out uh no bulk generation is pretty important especially when you're talking hundreds of ai articles the fact that they don't have bulk and they're offering 300 articles per month is crazy absolutely crazy there's another one out. They don't offer AI images, which is fine because they do have stock images, but you're going to have to replace a lot of those or you're going to end up with tons of different articles with the exact same images on them. 
Yeah, and the big one for me is they didn't include the builder, even though they're talking about how they have a worldwide CDN, a, a free SSL certificate, unlimited hosting bandwidth. None of that is relevant if you don't have the blo- or the ability to build the website. You know, like it's it's stupid, stupid. So this had the potential to be a four taco software. It never would have been a five taco software because it doesn't write that good. There's too many missing t- uh, there's too many missing features. For it to be a five taco, but it would have been a solid four taco software. But instead, this is a two taco, two out of five. And uh, it's final answer. Do not buy tier one. Do not buy tier two. Tier three and tier four. They're okay. They're okay. But that's it for this one. Kind of a rant style video. Uh, I really wanted to like this one. And I just... No. No. This is a pass for me, but tier three and tier four aren't bad. You can use them. If you don't have a good solid AI writer, it might, might not be a bad investment, but uh, uh, buyer beware on this one. Two tacos. See ya.